lovely people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and um, having a lovely weekend. It's a very, very sunny, um, but very, very blustery Sunday here in England. Well, it is where I am anyway. It's Sunday the 23rd of, I nearly said October then. I don't know why I nearly said October. It's not October. We're nowhere near that yet, really, are we? It's the 23rd of July, and um, I am coming to you today with a charity shop haul. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Um, I've actually managed to find some some lovely bits guys some treasure not loads um, but I'm pleased with what I've found I've been over to um, Daventry yesterday um, I just kind of on a whim really thought I'll go over and check Daventry out because I haven't been over there for a while um, and I did also find a couple of bits um, uh, the day before I think it was clothes I found a few items of clothing um, in town from my favourites, from some of my favourite charity shops. So yeah, I've got, um, it's a, a culmination of a couple of days worth of charity shop hunting. Still not lots out there. I've said that for the past few videos, haven't I guys? There's still not a lot out there. It's it's slim picking still. Um, my charity shops that I go to, I've been into them, you know, probably a couple of times, two or three times a week recently and it's just the same stuff in there but it's weird because you see people bringing stuff in all the time whenever I'm in them there's people always bringing stuff in but then nothing new seems to come out it's strange um but yeah I have found some some nice bits though so I, I will be showing you those very very soon just to say if you are new here my name is Beck I am a 42 year old mum of three children I live in the Midlands and I upload lots of haul videos um someday in the life um, a bit of cooking and cleaning here and there predominantly hauls though and I do like a charity shop haul um it's one of my favorites so yeah I am a bit of a, a thrifting queen self-proclaimed thrifting queen <laughs> um so yeah if that's your sort of thing and you'd like to stick around if you could give me um a like and a subscribe um and hit the notification bell down below that would be absolutely fantastic it would be lovely to have you here with me on my youtube journey um and yeah um grab a cup of tea grab a cup of tea guys grab a cup of coffee whatever you fancy and come and join me for for a while whilst i show you um the lovely bits that i have found um, yeah, so without further ado, guys, let's get into the haul. Right, first of all, I'm going to show you. Now, if you've seen on my community tab um, recently, you will have already seen this absolute gem. I feel like I need to get a bell out. <laughs> Ring the bell like a town choir. If you've seen on my community tab, you will know about this already. Um, I have been searching. I found this last week, I think it was now. If you know, you know, if you've been around here for a while, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that one of the things I've been searching high and low for in the charity shop and haven't found until now is an Emma Bridgewater mug, plate, cup, anything, quite, <laughs> anything quite frankly, anything that's Emma Bridgewater I've been looking for and haven't been able to find anything until now. But I did find last week, finally found a mug guys finally now admittedly this is not the sort of emma bridgewater mug i would have gone out my way to buy in a shop but it was an emma bridgewater in the chazers one pound 49 i was not leaving it behind and i have actually come to find out since that it's one of their rarer ones apparently this Labrador mug with the red collar is one of the um, rarer Emma Bridgewater mugs of this kind. There's another Labrador one as well. As you can see, it says Labrador all around the inside. On the bottom, it's got a lovely picture of dogs. And it says Emma Bridgewater. Will it focus? Just about. Um, and yeah, I couldn't believe it. Oh, guys, I was so excited. It was from my favourite, one of my favourite Chazers, um, Headway, where I live. Um, it's funnily enough, it's where I found the Ray Dunn mug. Who remembers my Ray Dunn mug, which I was really, really surprised to find. Um, I found it in there. I went in, I went straight to the bric a brac like I always do, was scanning the shells, looked up at the mugs. I was like, oh my God, it's an Emma Bridgewater. I knew straight away what it was. And I was quite surprised it was only £1.49, to be honest, because most charity shops now have cottoned on to Emma Bridgewater stuff and they, they tend to charge quite a bit more for them. But yeah, £1.49, it's in absolutely immaculate condition. Um, I mean, it has been used, but not very much at all. And do you know what? I don't know if it's it's just a, psych <laughs> a psychological thing, but I swear to God, a cup of tea out of this is 
it's so much nicer than all my other mugs um yeah i mean how how excited can a woman get over a mug i've been really excited by it though <laughs> I was so pleased to find it. So yeah, one pound forty nine. My first piece, guys, of Emma Bridgewater um, homeware, kitchenware, whatever you want to call it. What do we? I can't remember what we call it. Uh, what it's classed as? It's a mug. It's a mug. It's a mug. That's all that matters. So yeah, yay. So really, really pleased with that one. Um, so yeah, that was my first thing. I, like I said, I found that last week, but I wanted to show you it, even though I put it on my community tab. Sorry, I'm falling off this stool here. I'm sat on a stool and I've. I'm sort of going off on all angles. Um, right, I will show you my clothes that I've got first. These are all items that I found the other day from Sue Ryder. And what was the other one? Is it Sue Ryder? I think they're all Sue. Oh, no, they're all Sue Ryder. Yes. Um, first of all, I found myself, I've found some more skirts, guys. I have been finding so many lately, summer skirts. I'm really, really pleased with it. And I've told you, I think I've said before, my Sue Ryder, where I live, everything... All pretty much all the clothing is three pound. Well, it's three pound fifty now. I'm sure it used to be like three twenty-five, so they've gone up ever so slightly. But nothing, nothing that you can grumble about. But this was three pound fifty, and it's just a really, really lovely, um, like midi skirt again. It's I thought it was black in the shop. It's actually navy. Um, it's just a really, really lovely floaty very much like this you see i can see now that's black that's navy um it's just lovely midi skirt it's a really old make it says classic i don't even know what that would be from it's probably like a bon marche one isn't it bon marche whatever you call it but yeah it's just a really nice one just to wear with like a little cami top um cardigan over the top pair of sandals again and it fits really really lovely it's just it's a really flattering sort of style of skirt um it's nice and floaty on the bottom three pound fifty you know you can't go wrong can you you really cannot go wrong um i haven't worn it yet obviously because it's still got the tag on so i'm going to put them all through the washing machine because they're a little bit smell a bit musty but nothing that the washing machine won't sort out but yeah three pound fifty from sue rider um yeah, really, really pleased with that. So that was my first um, item. My second item I found was another skirt again. Um, £3.50 again, if you can see there or not. And this is a fat face skirt. Um, a fat face is a really, really, it always makes me laugh. <laughs> Just who thought, cool. who thought of the name fat face for their brand of clothing? I mean, it's not what I would have gone with, but hey ho. Um, but yeah, it's a fat face, if you can see there, which is a really good make and it's expensive. My mum buys lots of things from fat face um, and I know it's not a cheap shop by any means. But yeah, £3.50 for this one. It's a size 16 and it's just another really lovely midi length summery skirt. It's um, It's got like the, like the the plain panel there and then it's got the ruffles at the bottom it's got a beautiful um lovely it's green with lovely flowers all over it like gypsophilia is it called baby's breath um daisies it's got a lovely button detail down the front does that go all the way to the bottom yeah all the way to the bottom the buttons go and yeah just another really easy to wear skirt for the summer with just like a little black cami over it again pair of sandals um i've tried them on it tried it on it fits lovely the same as the other one nice midi i love the midi length you know just above your ankles not to the ground not to your knees just in between i really love that length and i'm going all out on the skirts this year for summer i did last year and i am this year as well and it's they're all charity shop finds they've all come from the charity shops which i just love it's so satisfying because yeah this would not have been three pound fifty brand new would it and honestly, guys, I don't really think it's been worn very much. It really looks quite new, in all honesty. Um, it's that lovely material as well that's going to wash. Is it cotton? Um, I'm not sure what it is. And I've just realised it's got pockets. Yes, it's got pockets. We love a skirt with a pocket, don't we, guys? A skirt or a dress with pockets. So, yeah, really, really pleased with that. What do you think? Does everybody else like that as well? Really, really chuffed with that. Um, the next item, well, the, the last item of clothing I got, this is for Leo. Um, this was also from Sue Ryder, but it was £4, this was, slightly 
slightly more but nothing nothing too too um too bad and it's a hype t-shirt which is why it will have been four pound really really good make i found one of these before in the charity shops for zella actually it was a girl's one um, i mean obviously this is for a girl or a boy anyway either but hers was a bright pink one so you know more for a girl really but yeah it's just a lovely really really nice hype t-shirt um it is honestly in such good condition it's age what it's an extra small so i mean it's i wouldn't say that's extra small it's really quite big it's perfect for leo anyway absolutely perfect for him really i love the hype clothing for the children it's so lovely it's really nice and jazzy and bright um yeah really lovely look really lovely colors all over it very very um very nice for an 11 year old isn't it yeah really really nice really pleased when i saw that um and for four pound i can't go wrong yet again it would have been a lot more than four pound originally i haven't bought any of their clothing brand new but i know it would have been more than four pound <laughs> so yeah that's all the clothes i found guys um, I'm going to show you my other little bits I found now. It's all sort of homeware bits, really. Um, first of all, these are a bit of a, a wild card. This isn't something I usually look out for, but I have I have just been recently. Um, Rich smashed we smashed smashed a few of our pint glasses, and Rich loves a pint glass to drink out of, whether he's having a juice or a beer or whatever. They've all got smashed at the minute, so we haven't got many. And I just saw these, two of them, they were a pound each. They are really, really lovely, sturdy, um, like pint glass mug. And I just thought they were so different. Um, they were a pound each, so really, really cheap. They're so filthy, they need to go through the dishwasher desperately. It says they're from a brewery in Warwickshire, so they're near, some, they've come from somewhere near us, Purity Brewing Co., um, can't say I've ever heard of that before but I just thought they were such a different sort of you know style of pint glass really and really really nice to hold I showed him them and he was really pleased with them they've got a star on them as well star on that side so I don't know I just we needed some I mean you see lots of pint glasses in the charity shops loads of glasses but they're just your typical boring pint glass which you can quite frankly go and get from Tesco's for probably not much more than the charity shops but because they were a little bit different and you know they've got a handle on them which I know Rich will like I just thought I would grab them um yeah they're really really just something about them I really really liked so yeah two pound for two really nice pint glasses which he will use and hopefully not smash we can but hope can't we guys um <laughs> Next, I found, now this, I don't know, this just spoke to me on the shelf. Um, these, where were these from again? Um, I can't remember where they were from. Oh no, they were the air ambulance in Daventry, they were. Um, this was from, this was from the, oh, do you know what, I meant to note down the name of it again. These are from the animal shelter shop that I said, that I told you about in Daventry before, which I still can't remember the name of. Um, but yeah, that, this is where this came from, and I don't know. It just spoke to me on the shop on the shelf. It's just a really, really pretty um, vase jar, jar. I don't really. I mean, I'm going to use it as a vase, really. Um, or I mean, it's, you could keep makeup brushes in it, I guess. I just really, really liked it. It doesn't say where it's from. I've got no idea where it's from. It was three pound, and yeah, just a really lovely little jar little um vase what do you think really really pretty flowers all around it really really lovely um and i thought because sometimes you know zella will bring me flowers home when she's gone for a walk with rich and there's not enough to put in a in a big vase um but something like that i could stick them in that and just put them on the windowsill over there or in the living room um but yeah i really really like that I, i'm trying when i go to the charity shops at the minute i mean <laughs> I'm struggling to find anything really, but I'm trying to consciously not buy anything that I don't need. Because at one point with charity shops, I was buying so much stuff and a lot of it I didn't really need or wasn't getting around to using. So now I'm trying to only buy what I absolutely, either I really, really like it, really, really like it, or I know that I really need it and I'm going to use it. So yeah, I know I'll use that. It will get it will get used for something. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty design on it. I'll, I couldn't leave that behind so yeah I was pleased with that um next I found now this was a bit of a wild card again but it was 50p it's a mug we know I don't need any mugs 
brand new. I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm a mug for a mug. But this little beauty, and I'm going to say it's a little beauty because I think it's, it is very so nice. It was 50p, 50p look, and it's a Starbucks mug. Now, I've looked online and it says, well, it says Cyprus on it. I've had a look online and these are retailing online for, I don't know, £25. Some places are selling them for 30 and it was 50p. It's when I say it's brand new, I'm not kidding. This is this has never been used. I can tell it hasn't. The bottom is pristine. It is perfect inside. It's a really nice mug as well. It's a really, you know, sturdy, large mug. You get a really decent cup of tea or coffee in that. Excuse my dishwasher. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's a Starbucks mug. So I don't know. What do you think? I mean, I couldn't leave that behind. I don't think most people would really, would they? If you're into mugs and, it, you know, you like Starbucks and it's 50p. That was from Age Concern in Daventry, if I remember rightly, Age Concern. Um, and yeah, I really like the design on it. I, I looked online to Google, like, why does it say Cyprus? And they've bought out, from what I can tell, um, I think it, they're 2018. There was a set of four different mugs and they're from different um, countries around the world. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of people aren't going to be excited by that, but I really liked it. I really, really liked that, so I was pleased with it. Um, right, two items left, and they are lovely. I think they are anyway. Um, this was £2, and this was from the Air Ambulance in Daventry as well. And this is something that not only do have I wanted because I like them, but I wanted one because I've needed one as well. A um, bit of a random one, but it's a lovely little honeypot. How nice is that, guys? It was £2, if you can see there, and it's a lovely colour. It's really, really lovely. It's brand new. It's never been used. The wooden honey stick inside, whatever you call it, has never been used. It's brand new. Um, and basically, I have genuinely wanted one of these for a while because um, I use a lot of honey in my cooking, um, in, you know, porridge. It's hard to show with this light because um, there's a lot of you know shine from outside um yeah i use a lot of honey in cooking whether it be for um meals that i'm making or just on toast or with porridge um, and i've always got a jar in the cupboard that's so sticky and horrible and i have thought to myself i need a honey a honey pot to put my honey in um and i just saw this i was like oh that is absolutely perfect i saw one the other week but it wasn't brand new it had been used and it was it was a bit manky but yeah saw this and was like fantastic that is perfect it's got like a wooden top but with like the ceramic bit as well and i really love the colors on it it goes with i've got a bit of a mishmash of of um of styles in my kitchen it's all very country but um you know different colors but it it fits in um, i've tried it on my top and it looks looks lovely i'm going to give it a wash even though it is brand new i'm going to give it a wash i don't know where it's from it just says kitchen craft classic collection kitchen craft classics collection um other than that it doesn't really say anything about where it's from it just says kitchen craft um so yeah what do you think isn't that sweet really really lovely um Really nice little little pot to keep me honey in, which I'm really chuffed with. So, I was, yeah, I was really pleased with that. £2 as well, fantastic. Um, right, my last beauty, I'm going to call it a beauty because uh, if you know, you know that I love Kath Kidston. I found another Kath Kidston item, guys, and it's a really, really lovely one as well. It's one that I'm going to be able to really use because I've found quite a few different bags from Kath Kidston. Um, but, you know, you don't always get around to using them. I mean, I, I have used them all, but, you know, you don't use them all the time. This is something which, okay, it's not going to get used all the time, but it is going to get used. And I'm going to be able to use it when we go on holiday. And it's a beautiful Kath Kidston bag um, with flowers and birds all over it. And it's a wash bag. Um, it's, yeah, a lovely wash bag, toiletries bag, makeup bag, whatever you want it for. I'm going to use it as a, as a wash bag, toiletries bag, when we go on holiday this year. Um, it was £4. So, absolute bargain. Kath Kidston really really lovely it's I'm, I'm not kidding you it's not been used it's brand new you can just tell can't you when something's brand new um yeah the feel of it i mean inside it's spotless i mean it had a little bit of dust in it which i got out but it it's pristine inside um and it's so pretty look at the colors on it the colors are lovely the design's lovely the pattern all the birds all the flowers on it um it's like blossom isn't it uh, the little tag on the middle there 
it's a lovely size as well i can get everything in that i'll be able to get my makeup in it <sighs> well toy, you know shower gel shampoos all that toothbrushes can go in the side so that's a really really lovely little item i was quite surprised it was there really still um because it is so nice and it's brand new but yeah four pound so i snatched that straight away i was like i'm not leaving that behind um rich would say what do you need another what kath kidston bag for <laughs> i'll tell you what there was quite a few different um Kath Gidson bits in Daventry, but they were massively overpriced because yet again, the charity shops, their prices are just crazy in some of them. One I went into, which I'd never seen before in Daventry, it was down a bit of a hidden street. Um, I thought, oh, it looks really nice in there. Went and had a look in and literally, I kid you not, the prices were insane. They wanted £25 for a Kath Kidston bag that wasn't even um i mean it was clearly well used but it was a children's one it was one of the calf kids um you know um range so it's for it was for a child it was no bigger than that it, there was nothing special about it. And they wanted 25 pounds for it there was a kilner butter dish which obviously kilner jars are nice this was just a bog stand it was just a, a clear see-through glass butter dish um, that just said kiln on the top. They wanted £20 for that. Um, the, honestly, an old um, herd pot on a little tray, they wanted £15 for it. And I'm just thinking, you know, you're not, not many people are going to come in and buy those items because, quite frankly, you could buy something brand new for that price, if not cheaper. Um, and I just think that a lot of the charity shops are pricing themselves out at the minute. You know, they're... they're they're asking far too much. I mean, I understand that prices are going up, rates are going up, but it's putting people off when people haven't got much money themselves. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's very hit and miss with the chasers at the minute. It really is. Sometimes you can find some bouters, some really, really good um, bargains, which I have. I found some fantastic bargains. Emma Bridgewater, £1.49. A beautiful Kath Kidston bag for £4, which is great. You know, that's those are the prices that you kind of expect from charity shops. Um, so, you know, there is stuff out there, but it's few and far between at the moment, um, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, we endeavour to keep I keep on keep on going out there, guys, to see what I can find. <laughs> um, I'm going to stretch further afield very, very soon. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to go to. I'm going to check Leamington out, I think, because I haven't been to Leamington yet. Um, I think that's where I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to wait till I get paid and we're gonna, I'm going to try Leamington, which will be nice to see if I can find anything there. Um, so, yeah, but for that for today, guys, that's it. That's today's charity shop haul. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope, um, I hope you like what I found. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favourite item that I found. And let me know. I always love to hear what things you found. Um, one of my lovely subscribers, I think it's Sam, if I remember rightly, um, she's found some fantastic bits um, recently. She was telling me she found a Raiden mug if I remember rightly um, and a Kath Kidston one I think as well sorry if I've got that wrong my love but yeah I think I think I've got it right <laughs> she's lovely um so yeah let me know in the comments down below what things you found um, um I love to hear about it and yeah hopefully I will be coming back to you with a charity shop very charity shop haul very very soon um I'm going to home bargains tomorrow so I'll be doing another uh, doing a haul with that um probably another day in the life soon let me know what what videos you'd like me to put out is there anything you'd like me to put out that i'm not doing that you'd like to see me do let me know because you know any ideas would be greatly appreciated they really would um sorry i've been a bit um has been a bit of a gap again in my videos the past couple of weeks have been insanely busy um with schools coming up to summer holidays there's been graduations there's been leavers assemblies leavers parties summer fairs there's just been so you know if you if you're a parent you know and i think because we've had two children leaving schools this year zella's leaving infants leo's fit, uh, leaving juniors there's just been so much more going on with all you know the leavers do's and everything so yeah sorry guys i have been i've just been so busy um but yeah, now that some holidays are here, I'll be able to um, do a lot more filming. So yeah, I'll be back um, very, very soon, guys, with another, video, uh, with another video. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. Um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, take care of yourselves, guys. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.